Don't you think the average person over the last several years has experienced more than they really wanted to experience? And ergo, there's a fatigue out there, um, period. And that changes everyone's perspective toward the rules. I think that people now are surrendering to the rules a little bit. I also think there's a, a whole segment of the, of the population, multiple segments, that are still going to fight the rules and it's actually becoming more militant than it probably needs to be in that regard. You know, it's, um, all I'm trying to do is just live my life, take care of my family and create and produce. Mm -hmm. I know what I'm very good at and I also know where I'm lacking, those areas that I'm lacking. So therefore, at this age, at this place in my life, I'm now able to really effectively consolidate the areas that I'm good at and really work on those. Um, it's hard to move a person who's lost to another place. You know, I, I'm pretty sure you're familiar with Maslow's hierarchy of needs, you mm -hmm. know, where you've got multiple levels to go through. The first one may be shelter, for example, or food, or a fear of a harm. You're, you're isolated from that. But it's hard to move to the next level, to the next level. For example, I, I talk about um, people in, in Central and South America, people possibly in the islands, where you're stuck on an island. You're, you can't really leave that island your whole life is based on that island unless you can get a visa or unless you can get off the island and go to another place where maybe opportunity exists. For those folks that are stuck on those places or in those isolated areas like that, they don't have the ability to self-actualize self that highest, that fifth level. Because the contemplation of what self-actualization is doesn't even come as far as being something that enters into their mind. They can't even conceive of something. It's like, for example, taking an indigenous person from the Amazon and, and asking them to do geometry where they can't even conceive of these concepts of geometry because they're so far outside of that realm of thought. It's, again, things layer. And if you don't have the math, you don't have the addition, the subtracting, the multiplication and so forth, there's no way in the world you can do geometry. Well, if you take that person, the naturalist outside of the Amazonian jungle, they're not going to be able to conceive of those multi-level things when in fact they don't have the basis levels of those things to understand.